Hello, my friends. This is Dr. Jeannie Barrow. Welcome back to our series where we're covering the 21 qualities that empowering and healing leaders must bring to the table to lead during these times of complexity. Today's quality is quality number 14. A healing and empowering leader is creative and resourceful. I don't know how many of you feel that you're not creative. I know being a, a computer science major in college and having an economics background, I never really thought of myself as the creative type. Although I have to say that as a programmer, you have to have certain creativity to design your programs a certain way because you know the, the data structure, you know the language structure, but you have to get creative in how you use them to solve the problem that you're trying to solve via a program. So I guess there's an aspect of creativity when it comes to, to, to STEM fields, right? Science, technology, engineering, and math fields. So today, when we talk about a healing and empowering leader is creative and resourceful, what does that look like for you? Having creativity and resourcefulness. Part of my resourcefulness comes from living and growing up in a third world country. There, we don't have gadgets for everything. This is one of the, one, one of the things I've noticed uh, when I came to the United States, that there's always a gadget for everything. Back in my country where I was born, this is my country now, but back in the Dominican Republic, I remember that we used to make do with whatever we had. We had to get creative. So to open a jar of anything that was tight, if we didn't have one of those grips that helps you get a better grip on the can, we would take it, take the can and go to the stove, let, you know, turn it on and turn the can around the lid so that the heat could actually make the tightness a little softer and then boop, you got to open your your jar that's just a simple example of how we i grew up being creative that way because we didn't have another example is we didn't have a can opener at least i didn't have a can opener some people did so what we used to do is we would take a knife and we would take the can and we would just take a knife and use the top of the of the knife and do a little hole and then use the knife itself to open the lid, open the can without having a can opener. How have you been creative in your career? Have you come up with creative solutions to problems that you were trying to solve as a team? Have you gotten creative in your own life? Sometimes when we are doing personal things like on vacations, we may have to get creative when we don't find the right solution. One of the most recent examples of using my creativity and resourcefulness was recently when I was going on vacation with my family, my mother and my son. And I called a place where we were going to stay and they said, sorry, we cancel your appointment because we cancel your reservation because we try to get in touch with you and we couldn't reach you. And there was a problem with the address that I provided for my credit card. So I had no place to stay. And there I was on a Monday, getting ready to leave on vacation without a place to stay. And so my mom and I were in the kitchen and she goes, oh, try Airbnb. So I went and I Googled Airbnb and I was able to look for a place that day where we could stay. The difference between being resourceful and getting frustrated instead is that when we're not resourceful, we're going to throw in the towel and we're going to quit. So the value of embracing the quality of being creative and resourceful is that when something doesn't work out the way you expect it, you look for alternatives. There's always options when you are resourceful. So notice how if you have a plan and things don't go as you wanted them to go, how you react. Do you typically get locked in like, OK, that's it. We're not going. This is not happening. We're not doing it because it didn't happen in this particular way. Or do you say, OK, we were going to do it this way, but because of these circumstances, we're going to try something different and you pivot. The ability to pivot during these times 
when things are happening left and right, when perhaps the staff that you were expecting didn't come in because of something that happened with them, or the project went sideways, or the client changed his or her mind, how do you react? And as a leader, how are you role modeling for the people that you are leading your, your response, right? Because they are watching you. And as they watch you, they are learning. If you have a young team, you are basically teaching them how to be in the business world. I know that's a lot of responsibility. If you have an older team that's more ex who is more experienced, you also role modeling for them what's appropriate and what's expected. And people tend to do what their leaders do. That's the expectation. And that's also the danger. Because if you have a senior leader who's behaving in a way that is not how you want your culture to be, that's a problem. The fact that that leader is behaving in that way is giving everybody else permission to behave in the same way. I know this is where having a very difficult conversation may be required so that you can help that senior leader have more self-awareness about how the behavior that they're exuding is impacting the culture and the people. Not easy to do, right? But it's, it's doable. And it's doable when we use conscious communication and mindful communication. And when we approach this person from a place of contribution, not, a, not from a place of criticizing them or bringing them down. So creating a safe space to have that conversation is extremely important. And we talk about this and many other topics in my programs, including the Fearless Leadership Mastermind, where leaders get to practice these types of leadership skills. Because doing this by yourself, I have to say, is pretty darn challenging, especially because you are doing it in isolation versus having other people who are being mirrors to you and who can help you not only see other possibilities, but also your superpowers so that you can overcome the problems that you are bringing to us in the mastermind. It's very important to get support as a leader so you can continue to develop these leadership skills, which will help you continue to grow as the leader and reach your full leadership potential. As I get to shoot these videos, I get to use my creativity too. The only thing that I know is the topic that I'm going to talk about. And once I get going, I just let my creativity and my resourcefulness flow based on my experiences, based on what I've already written on my book, Healing Leadership, and what I share with the 41 leaders in those interviews that I conducted back when I was preparing to launch the book. And so my creativity today looks like this. I get to share my insights with you, my experiences with you, and also I get to hear from you. So if you want to leave me a comment and let me know how this video, particularly around being creative and resourceful, landed for you, how much of your creativity are you using? How much more of your creativity would you like to tap into that you're currently not? And what could be holding you back from doing so? I'm here to help you explore all of that. You can always find me at callwithginny.com. And whatever you do, I hope that as you cultivate your creativity and resourcefulness, you also get to experience more peace, calmness, and also feel more empowered to continue to lead the people that you're serving to the best of your abilities. I'll see you soon.